Uber remains in focus this one day after announcing that $2.65 billion all-stock deal to acquire Postmates. This morning, the company says it's entering grocery delivery, as Carl uh, and I just discussed. Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive is Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi. Dara, always great to have you with us. Thank you. For having um, me. You know, I spent a good amount of time reporting on your uh, attempts to acquire Grubhub. Uh, it, it didn't happen. Um, should your shareholders view this as second prize? And if not, why not? Well, I think our shareholders should view it as, as the prize. Uh, listen, every single deal that comes together needs two parties to agree. Uh, and that requires you to agree on a lot of issues, including price, terms, et cetera. We couldn't get there with Grubhub. Uh, for various reasons, and ultimately we agreed to disagree. With Postmates, we did agree. We think it's an attractive price. The asset is a great asset. We actually think that uh, the Postmates brand uh, is exactly the kind of brand that we want. It's a millennial brand. It's much younger. Uh, and the geographic focus that they have and the restaurant, uh, the kinds of restaurants that they have, uh, is pretty incredible. Uh, gets us a very strong market presence in Los Angeles and Orange County. Uh, so we think the one that worked out is a pretty great one and one that we're very excited about. Right. And you moved on from Grubhub, as you said, and you made this deal pretty quickly. Why has it been so important to you to try and consolidate this industry? It's not as much about consolidation as it is about growth. You know, one thing that differentiates us from some of the other pure ride-sharing players is that we've got our mobility business in a classic ride-sharing area, uh, still going to be a huge profit generator of the business. But then we've got delivery that has become much larger. For example, our own internal organic growth in Q2 was over 100%. So this is a business that's accelerating. The profit profile is improving, and we're confident that we can take uh, the business to profitability as well. Uh, and we just love the business. When you look at COVID, COVID's accelerated you know, two to three years of essentially consumer adoption into a few months. Uh, so this is a category that we that we love. Uh, we want to get bigger in the category. And really, scale is how you bring the category to profitability, but also bring it to profitability in a way and margins that work for restaurant partners, that work for couriers, uh, and work for the whole ecosystem. Uh, so we're quite confident that this is a good deal in an attractive uh, industry that we want to grow in. Right. And you are talking about as much as 200 million or more of run rate synergies one year after the close. Sometimes that comes as a result of being able to consolidate certain markets. And I wonder, Dara, in reporting, of course, on your negotiations with Grubhub, I know that antitrust considerations were certainly at the heart of some of the disagreements where you weren't able to get traction. Should there be a concern here? Postmates not as large, but in certain markets, there is still a fear that the city council or the state AG are going to say, no, 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 you can't do this, or you have to set pricing at a certain level. We don't think antitrust is going to play a big part here, but I think, listen, it's healthy for uh, any uh, for government to take a look at any deal that goes through. But we actually think that this deal, there are going to be three very big players in the U.S. It's going to be in extremely competitive markets. There are many local players as well. And listen, this food delivery market is, is bigger just than food. You've got grocery in there. You've got pharmacy in there. Uh, Amazon is delivering food from Whole Foods, etc. The category is a very large category. Our getting bigger in the category, I think, will make it even more affordable uh, for consumers, for restaurants, et cetera. And it allows us actually to start pivoting into adjacent categories such as grocery. We announced uh, today, actually, the availability of grocery in many markets uh, as it relates to Uber Eats. And that just extends the category, increases competition, and opens up a whole new multi-billion dollar marketplace for us in terms of delivery into your home. 